Let's look at the taxation for partnerships and then the partners. Taxation of partnerships and partners, it's according to Income Tax Act Section 66 and 67. The partnership income for a year of income, it is the gross income of the partnership, calculated as if the partnership were a resident taxpayer. So we get the gross income of the partnership. Then in addition, the total amounts of deductions are allowed, the losses and then expenditures incurred by the partnership in deriving that income. They are allowed as the way they were described under business income. So the same things that we allowed in business income is the same things we allow here. Yeah. So after getting the gross income, you have to allow the deductions, the losses, the expenditures that were incurred by the partnership in deriving that income. Any drawings or appropriations of profits made by the partners are disallowed. In case of any drawings by the partners and then the profits that were shared, they are disallowed, meaning that they are taxed. However, caution should be taken not to allow carried forward losses. Yeah. Remember, according to business income, carried forward losses are allowed. But here in partnerships, we do not allow them carried forward losses. Yeah, the principle behind this is that since a partnership is not a separate legal taxable entity, the carried forward losses are allowed as a deduction to respective partners. So, so the first thing that is supposed to be done is to share the losses. The, the partners have to first share the losses using their respective ratios. Yeah, then after that, it is allowed individually on every partner. Yep. The net income of the partnership is shared among the partners using the profit sharing ratios or any other logical method like the capital contribution ratios. The partners are then taxed on their partnership income after everyone receiving their contribution. It's in, it is when they are taxed. Yeah, so the partners are then taxed on their partnership income, which is included in the gross income for a given year of income. Partners are then assessed to tax individually as if each partner's share of the profit or loss had risen from an activity carried on by the partner alone. Yeah, so after sharing the profits or the income, or the income every partner is taxed individually, yeah, as if they were carrying on business on their own or as if they were employed on their own, yeah, and, and they are taxed using the pay rates. So each partner is solidly responsible for the tax due on his or her share of the profit. So after sharing the profit, every Every partner is taxed individually and they are supposed to pay the tax individually. Yeah, he or she must include their share of partnership profit or loss in their individual tax returns and in their self-assessment computations. And any capital allowance claimed on an individual partner's assets and any expenses incurred personally by the partner they are deducted from the partner's share of profits, meaning they are not taxed. And it is only if they satisfy the provisions of the Income Tax Act. However, the gross income of a non-resident partner for a year of income, it includes the partner's share of partnership income attributed to only the sources in Uganda. They are taxed on only the income that was derived from Uganda and not anywhere else. Yeah, so that is the brief introduction about partnership. We shall be having an example in the next video.